Hey, Snails here. Welcome to chapter one of this series, where we'll talk about brushes and how to manipulate them. We're also going to look at the new polygon tool in Hammer++. In Hammer, on the left you'll see your toolbar. This is where all your tools are located. There's a lot here, but we'll be focusing on the block tool for now. The block tool is what makes brushes in Hammer. In order to make a brush, click on the block tool, head over to your top view, and drag out a brush. However, if you look in our 3D view, you may notice there's no brush placed and there's just a wireframe of the brush. In order to make the brush appear, you have to press enter. Let's talk about the clipping tool. The clipping tool allows you to clip off sections of a brush. In order to use the clipping tool, we we'll click our brush we want clipped. Next, click this icon in the toolbar to select the clipping tool. Head over to the top view and drag out the clipping line to your desired clip. You may notice that on both the 3D view and top view that there's two sections, one white and one red. The white section is what stays, and the red section is what gets deleted. However, you can change which side gets deleted by clicking inside your top view. Or you can click again and allow for both sides of the clip to stay. Press enter and the brush you selected will be clipped. A clipped brush will create a new one if both sections were white. How do I move brushes I created? To move a brush, click on a brush in the 3D view. Next go to your top view, and a box will appear around the brush. Now click inside the box, and drag the brush to where you want it. How do I transform a brush? To transform a brush, click on a brush in the 3D view. Next, go to your top view, and the same box will appear around a brush. Now instead of clicking and dragging, you'll see small blocks. Click and drag on the blocks to stretch it out, or enlarge and minimize. You can also click again to change the transform type. This one is rotate. And this one is skew. Finally, we'll talk about the polygon tool. The polygon tool creates brushes like the block tool, but the key difference is you can make more than just a block with it. In order to use the polygon tool, we'll click this icon here. Now that we have the polygon tool selected, we can make a brush inside the top view. However, instead of dragging out a block, we can click points on the grid to make a brush. It'll also tell you if it's an invalid brush by showing you a red line. Now that you've made it to the end of chapter 1, you should have a better understanding of the block tool, clipping tool, and polygon tool. And if you liked the tutorial, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to see you in chapter 2, where we'll look at the texture application tool and the overlay tool. Bye for now.